Hello everyone, welcome back to Rolling Solo. My name is Adam Smith and in this unboxing video I am very, very excited to be checking out the first five of what I expect to be many more Investigator Starter Decks for Arkham Horror the card game. What I'm really hoping to do in this video is to show you every single card that comes inside these packs to help you make an informed decision as to whether or not these are packs or these are decks you would like to actually add into your collection. Now not only will this allow you to take this deck with a particular investigator and jump right into the action right away it also is going to give you some cards to do some deck building as well so you can kind of go either way with this you can keep these decks as they are and just use them to have pre-ready characters or you can like I said do some deck building and mix and match with what you currently already own in order to make your decks even better so without further ado, how about we go ahead and start left to right. We'll begin with Jacqueline Fine. On the back of Jacqueline Fine's Investigator deck, the features of the 60 card deck include a ready to play Mystic Starter deck along with 26 upgrades for campaign play included inside here. And that's another one of the exciting things about this. It's not just a deck that's ready to be played, but you got that bonus of additional cards to use in campaigns. That's huge. Jacqueline Fine, the Psychic, use your foresight to predict and manipulate the odds for you and your teammates. Down below it states these cards can be used to augment and customize existing decks. Removing the packaging, this is what you'll find. You'll find a pamphlet here all folded up specific to this investigator deck with additional information, which we'll take a look at in a second. You've got the front and back of the packaging itself. You can, I've seen people use this actually to cut up and use for organizers or just keep for the artwork alone or as a reference as to what they've previously bought. And of course, the pack of cards with the mini card representing the investigator. The first thing you'll notice on this pamphlet once it's unfolded is you've got the narrative text right here or flavor text in the top left hand corner how to use this expansion is spelled out right here and continues down here on this section up here it talks about the starter deck itself it also gives you a full breakdown of what is included inside of this deck on the back, we have a section for upgrading Jacqueline Fine, which is all laid out right here. We have the frequently asked questions section down here, and of course, the expansion symbol mentioned right here. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at all the cards that come inside the pack. Let's move right on to the second of five Investigator Starter Decks. 
Winifred's Investigator Pack here is a ready-to-play rogue starter deck along with 26 upgrade cards for campaign play, very similar to the last pack we just checked out. And in this one, this individual is an aviatrix, so throwing caution to the wind and committing cards recklessly to skill tests without fear is a feature of this one. And these cards can also be used, similar to the other ones, to augment and customize existing decks. This pack, similar to the other pack we just opened, also includes a pamphlet description Describing it. It's got the artwork on the front and back of the packaging itself, which you can use for organizational purposes or just get rid of. And you've got the card pack here with the mini card for the investigator all packaged up. The next investigator starter deck is Stella Clark. Let's go ahead and take a look at the back of this pack and then we'll dive inside of it. This pack gives you a ready to play survivor starter deck for Stella Clark, the letter carrier. Recover quickly from failed tests and snatch victory from the jaws of defeat. And similar to the other packs, has 24 in this one in terms of upgrades for campaign play. So there's a difference there in the number. And also down at the very bottom, same thing can be augmented or customized into existing decks you own. Opening up the pack, we got a pamphlet, a deck of cards with a mini card for the investigator, as well as some art on the front and back of the packaging.
Moving on to the fourth pack, we have Harvey Walters, and he is a seeker, another investigator starter deck to go through. The Harvey Walters pack is going to give you a ready-to-play seeker with 26 upgrades for campaign play, which is similar to most of the decks we've gone through. He's also a professor, so he'll be drawing cards rapidly, and he'll use his expanded hand size to solve arcane mysteries. Similar to the rest of the packs, you'll find yourself a pamphlet describing Harvey Walters inside. You've got the front and back artwork to the packaging itself, and you've got a deck of cards with a mini card. We're going to go through all those right now. And last but certainly not least, the final of the five Investigator Starter Packs that are currently released. This is Nathaniel Cho. Nathaniel is a Guardian, so you'll have a ready-to-play Guardian starter deck ready to go with 26 upgrades for campaign play. And he is a Boxer, so you can use your Boxing Gloves and powerful event cards to take out enemies one by one. Similar to the prior Investigator decks, we've got ourselves a pamphlet specific to Nathaniel, as well as some artwork on the front and back of the packaging, plus the deck of cards and the mini card for the Investigator we're going to check out right now.
And that's going to conclude this in-depth look at all five of the Investigator starter decks that are currently available to pick up for Arkham Horror the card game. I hope this helps you make an informed decision as to whether or not these packs are something that are going to be of interest to you and you want to bolster your card collection as well as, as, well as your Investigator pool with these particular items. I'm really looking forward to merging this content in with what I already have for Arkham Horror, which is literally everything, as I am a huge, huge fan of the game. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, keep on rolling solo.